Today, we'd like to share a demonstration of a new tool we've been working on at MathJax. This new tool is a full math accessibility solution built to work with any screen reader. It includes on-the-fly speech text generation, highlighting, and exploration of a rendered mathematical equation. Like any MathJax project, this tool is open source and only depending on MathML and standard web APIs. Please note that this is work in progress, so various minor and major bugs will occur. However, we are very interested in getting your feedback as early as possible, so please try out our demos and let us know about any issues you encounter. We are planning the first release for the end of this year. Our goal with this tool is to enable any combination of screen reader, browser and operating system to meaningfully voice mathematics. Of course, that is a very challenging goal and we have not yet achieved it. For our most recent test results, please see the GitHub Wiki page linked to in the notes to this video. In this video, I will be demonstrating a simple test page using VoiceOver and Safari on OS X 10.10. .10. You can find the URL to the test page in the notes of this video. Both Safari and VoiceOver are already running, so you will hear oral output as I access the page. Note that I will mostly cut off voiceover so that we can keep the video short and focus on the demonstration of the accessibility tool and its interaction with voiceover. Let's get started. Safari. This simple test page consists of a section with options of the tool, which I will not get into, but please play around with. There is a simple text area where you can input tech code that gets rendered and voiced. And finally, there are a couple of pre-configured examples that you can choose from to compare rendering across systems. Finally, there is a dedicated output area at the end of the page. So let's refresh the page to see that we're actually live. Reload page. Great. Let's start with a simple example. You are currently on select one examples pop up button closing menu quadratic formula. It's a we choose the quadratic formula because it is simple enough that most people will be able to check that the voicing is accurate and the highlighting and voicing match. To be able to activate our tool, we have to put the expression into focus. Since MathJax puts its output in the tab order, we can simply use the tab key to focus on it but you can also click on it. Given the structure of the page, we have to tap three times. Keep button. Type set button. Group. As you can hear, there is not yet an indicator that we are on a MathTex expression or that the tool is available. We are still working on that. To start our tool, you simply hit Shift Space. You might see that the expression has been highlighted, indicating that the tool is active. And in this test page, we are injecting the speech text into the page as well. That's simply for debugging purposes, so that we don't have to switch around screen readers all the time. However, you will also note a first bug. While the same text string is being injected into an ARIA Live region, VoiceOver is not picking up on it in this initial speech string. We are working on that. To explore an expression, we use the arrow keys. Up and down takes us through different levels of the expression. Right and left allows us to navigate an individual level. These levels and their structure are identified using heuristics that enrich the underlying MathML with semantic information. This allows us uh, to meaningfully explore and voice the sub-expressions. So let's explore this. Since most screen readers help navigate a page, we have to disable their own methodology. In VoiceOver's case, this means keeping the Control, Shift, and Command key pressed while using the arrow keys. Since we are at the top level of an expression, we can only navigate down to the lower level, to the first level. So let's hit the down key while pressing Shift, Control command. X. Great. You can hear the X being voiced and highlighted. Since we just left, went a level lower, we are at the leftmost position and we can only explore to the right. 
So let's go right equals and right again. Start fraction negative b plus or minus start root b squared minus four ac and root over two and fraction. Great. If we hit right again, you will notice that nothing has happened, and that's because we're still working on an oral indicator that you have reached the edge of an individual level. Now that last expression was still a mouthful, so let's dive a little deeper to explore it further. Negative e plus or minus start root b squared minus four ac and root. Great. And let's try it to see the other side of the fraction. 2a. Great. So as you can see, we can explore sub-expressions and get the correct highlighting and voicing. Let's explore, explore this ex individual piece a little further, because visually it is usually easy to identify whether 2a means 2 times a, or is an individual identifier. But this isn't so easy when you are orally exploring such an expression. So let's hit down. Two times a. Great. So you heard that there is actually a times inserted in between. It's an invisible times, which is why it doesn't occur in the visual rendering. This is another example of the kind of information we are generating with the semantic enrichment. Of course, we can now go back up Two a. and back up further Start fraction negative B plus or application. and explore the expression. Safari. To leave the accessibility tool, you simply hit escape. Then you can explore the rest of the page as usual. Great! This was a short demonstration of our new accessibility tool using VoiceOver on Safari 8 and OS X 10.10. We also support VoiceOver already on Chrome. Firefox is unfortunately not yet working, but we're hoping to be able to make it work eventually. You can find more information on other browser OS and screen reader combinations on the links in the notes to this video. Please try out our tool and let us know how it's going. Thanks so much for listening.